what is up YouTube? It's Coffee Project back with another video. And today we're going to be going over the whole process of how I went from Ruby, basically a new account, all the way up to Pearl. In a matter of like less than two weeks, basically to go off the span of the all NBA team. We're gonna be going over how I did that in this video right here. Um this is basically just a no money spent series, all compiled to one video. I cut some parts out to make it like shorter. But yeah, it's basically the no money spent series all into one video. So if you guys want to see like the whole thing, then you can check out the no money spent series. It is gonna be on playlist on the channel. Also, in this video, we're going to be giving this account away. If you guys would like to enter for an opportunity to win this account, um, the link will be in, in the description because I don't have time to be playing on two accounts. So, the only spent series, technically, this is like the last episode of the only spent series. It doesn't really count the episode because I didn't really do anything on the account. Um, we are, I'm just going to try to uh, finish this event for the person who wins this account as well as I'm going to get this Michael Jordan um, for the person who wins this account because. As I said, this no money spent series technically over because I'm going to be giving this kind of away. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Today, we're going to be doing our first ever episode of the no money spent series where we basically are starting a new account and then we're trying to grind all the way up to the highest uh, possible tier at this point as far as like getting it in event. So I believe the highest possible tier is Jade. I believe that's the highest tier is like Topaz, Jade, and the other one. I, I don't remember like the name all. Uh, Topaz, Jade, and Pearl. I think Pearl is actually the highest tier. So we got to get to be able to get pearl cards in events which i need to actually check what that power is as of right now but um yeah it's gonna be the first ever episode of the no money spent series all right so we are now in the game um they're asking us to pick a team we'll just pick the thunder um since that is my favorite team and then we'll go ahead and open this side out one thing i will say i like the new uh art um they're actually going to give you this pack all right um so basically this pack if you go to the store you can actually claim a free pack of like a whole ruby team and they actually just give that to you at the beginning, which is pretty nice. I've earned three draft picks. I allow you to select some draft. We're we'll go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna actually get our pull ourselves some really some draft boards. It's not even resetting. We're actually getting our first amethyst right there with that amethyst cover athlete with the Jason Tatum right there. Is that? Are you supposed to pull Jason Tatum? I don't know because he's the cover athlete. So your new amethyst car is now higher. Yeah, I guess you're actually technically supposed to be able to pull that Jason Tatum for your team. All right, so we're back. So I realized like one of the most important things as far as like, um, especially early on, because you're actually able to pull theme cards from draft boards. Actually, to my, in my opinion, it's pretty dope. Um, is that like the rewards we're getting from the draft board? Because we're getting way better rewards from the draft board than we're actually going to end up getting from the end. So we're going to go ahead and open up the draft board just to show you guys what I mean. We just got a Ruby card there. I have no, no clue who that was. That just popped up way too fast. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and open up the draft board items. You see, we're getting a Ruby card right there. We're already actually up to Amethyst. I'm going to show you guys the team. Unfortunately, I didn't take a screenshot of the first one that we end up doing as we get another Gary Payton right there. I guess I kind of spoiled it. We had Gary Payton. All right. So this is what the players we just got. So we got an Amethyst Trey Young. We got a Ruby Dennis Rodman, a uh, Ruby Gary Payton, Ruby Kate Cunningham, a Ruby Carlin Towns. I really like that they're giving us these rewards from the draft board. It's actually pretty nice. It actually helps you upgrade a lot faster because if you guys don't know, the um, I guess we just go over to the catalog so you guys can see it. Uh, The base power of the Ruby cards are... Are the uh what's the name event power of the ruby cards like way higher than the uh base power of the ruby cards so if we go ahead filter or if we go ahead scroll all the way down all right so for example the highest ruby card right here is this larry bird and then like the first theme it's like 1944 and then that just scales up like the entire season so um i believe we said 1944 at the beginning like as you see it's scrolling up it got up to like 36 36 by the end of it so yeah um these are going to be pretty useful as we're getting a claim theme right here go ahead check out our team how it's looking right now. So this is our team. Um, no, oh, okay. I guess we'll look at this. Um, this is our team right here. We have Gary Payton, uh, Jerry Stackhouse, Jason Tatum that we of course got before, and then we have the John Collins as of right now. We're going to auto for the team. So we're now at 3049 power. It actually takes out Gary Payton, which kind of sucks because I guess it doesn't kind of suck, but you know, I, he's gonna get replaced sooner or later. But uh, I guess next thing we should do. Is try to get this team that we have right now up to 3,500. It's going to be uh, just like so we don't actually have to use up the cards that we just now got. Like we're not we don't have to use up all those ruby cards we just now got. Um, I believe we should get a new shooting guard because Jerry Stackhouse is like the lowest possible shooting guard. You guys saw like Jerry Stackhouse was like that 1944 example that we showed. Uh, so as of right now, the team is at 3,100. Go ahead, do that right there. So he's at 2,951. So we do end up getting to, uh 52, whatever power that is. So we can uh when we finally unlock that, we'll go ahead and train him up again. I actually ended up using all of our pump up collectibles, which kind of sucks. But uh, we'll go ahead, uh, go through with that. Uh, 3300 power right now. I was hoping we could get to 35, but it doesn't look like that is going to be possible at this exact moment. Let's uh, upgrade our Gary Payton. We'll upgrade this Gary Payton. It doesn't really matter because I don't think we're going to have Ruby cards on our team for that much longer. 
Um, so now we're getting pretty, we're on pace to like get 3,500 power extremely fast. So we'll go ahead and upgrade this Marcus Camby with the two Gary Payne cards. I don't recommend really doing that, um, generally because the uh, you can upgrade. It's faster to get the card to like level three, and then upgrade like a level three Marcus Camby card with like a level three Gary Payne card and another level three Ruby card. So I don't recommend exactly doing that. But um, we we're gonna go ahead and do that so we can actually get up faster. Um, now, outside of that, like I can't play head to head right now, which kind of sucks. We have to get the 5250 power. It's not gonna take that long, but it's kind of sucks that we can't do that yet. We're also getting stuff from the uh, stat line. We're gonna go ahead and claim all this stuff and see if there's any packs we can open. So maybe to get to a uh, 3500 power faster, um, claim that pack five times and then all the monthly objectives. So we have four more days. To I gotta make sure I gotta watch the ads in the store so we can get the uh. 100 combined coins from doing the uh, ad pack and completing all the monthly objectives and then the weekly uh, win tourney 10 tourney games what oh yeah I guess no what what because we were on game four so why isn't that counting towards the stat line what's going on here if you're gonna put an objective in the game maybe you should make it sure it works I don't, it doesn't really make sense to me but um train a shooting guard card three times I guess we could do that pretty quickly and then win it okay here we go again like I can't it's not possible for me to get these uh ten or these twelve coins technically because it's telling me to win a tourney game. Maybe we have to win the whole thing um in order to get that, but then that still wouldn't make sense because it's separated by games. It's not separated by a whole series. But um let's go ahead. We're at, we have three hundred eleven coins. Let's go over to the store see if there's anything that we can go ahead and get and add to our team. We're pretty close to getting this pack. Is there if we finish everything on the line, we'll be able to get it. Um so we have monthly um. So we can actually be able to do this. So we will have 100 more coins. Doesn't like we'll be able to get to that in time. Uh, actually, maybe when the monthly stuff ends, maybe. Uh, but the fast break pack, uh, let's not do that. That'll be a terrible idea. Uh, the fast break pack right here, 27.6. Okay, yeah, we're not opening that. Uh, is there any other coin packs that are really worth opening? We have this pack right here, where you have a 15% chance at getting an amethyst card. So you also have a 20% chance at getting. One of these uh ruby cards which uh, i don't know man uh we have a 40 percent chance to get one of the ruby cards and then 70 at the uh what's the name amethyst cards which we're getting amethyst cards pretty fast so i don't really think it's going to be worth it for me to open that based on our how our odds are looking obviously we don't have no coins for that one um if we go over here onyx pack um we can basically pour ourselves onyx i think this is just the best option right now so we have 270 coins i don't think that uh well, that's it. Yeah, it's the only thing we could do right now. So we're just going to go ahead, open up that. We'll see what we get a gain for this. Imagine if we get like one of these pink diamonds. Hopefully it's today Robinson. If it is a pink diamond, because today Robinson's like just better. Just him in this game. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this. Let's see what we mean getting. Um, our first honest cars should help us upgrade our team. Should make the uh, whole grind easier. So we're getting a Larry Burr and we're getting another Trey Young actually. Um, for our team, replacing the Celtic small four with another Celtic small four. Let's go ahead and auto update him into the lineup. And then we are now at thirty six thirty. Which unlocks the gauntlet for us. Is this the, uh, okay, so this is the actual, this is, oh, okay, yeah, this is mini gauntlet. All right, so we got the mini gauntlet unlocked for, we finished game four, basically, to, uh, beat those, that team. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead, we'll claim the stuff from the draft board. You see, we're getting an amethyst center, probably going to replace our Marcus Cam. I'm pretty sure that was Spring DeAndre. He might not actually be high enough. That card came out kind of early in the season. We also got a Ruby Zach Levine, but it doesn't matter what we're getting anything else from the board. 13278 base power. He's not that much higher base power than Marcus Camby, and I kind of like Marcus Camby in game already. And like DeAndre got a five, got a, he only has a four. D Marcus Camby has a five. Marcus Camby allows us to keep on using Ruby cards, and it's actually gonna probably gonna be our first uh card that we actually end up mentoring um by the end of this. But um, I think we're gonna keep Marcus Camby. I don't really want DeAndre to be a hundred percent honest with you, so we're gonna keep Marcus Camby. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna keep Marcus Camby. Um, we actually do get another shooting guard, actually, that's, which is actually kind of fire. We get the Zach Levine, right? I'm just not realizing that. I was, like, hoping we get another shooting guard. But, uh, yeah, we get the Zach Levine right here. Um, we still have a while to, to finally end up completing this, though. So, we, yeah, we got to, so we can actually start the other ones? So, we're actually not about to continue on now. We're going to go ahead and start this Onyx one. I don't know if we can skip all the way over to this Onyx one. All right. We're going to go ahead and skip over to the Onyx one. We're not going to finish the Ruby one, technically. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna skip the Onyx one, and then we'll start playing the Onyx one because I don't really need a Ruby card. So that's pretty nice that they allow you to do that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start playing through this uh Onyx one right here next. In hindsight, like Dennis Rodman is kind of better than John Collins in head-to-head, -head, so we'll go ahead and use both of those cards to upgrade the Zach Levine, and then 
we'll go ahead and use the pump ups since we're getting all these pump up collectibles to go ahead and train up this Trey Young right here. That's a lot of the pump up they just used up. Uh, I like scroll over this Larry Bird twice. We're going to train up this Larry Bird. Hopefully, we're actually able to train him up. Um, yeah, he's not going to be at level five. Uh, 47, 42 power. He's definitely our. Is he our highest card? 41, 31? Yeah, he's, he's telling our highest base power card right now. So we're going to charge this at. It's actually not letting me do it. So we'll just go ahead and claim this up on the draft board without uh, the two extra draft picks as we're getting a standard gear key right there to reset the board. We're getting a Tony Parker right there, which actually I don't like Tony Parker anything whatsoever. But we're getting a Tony Parker. I guess we'll get, is that Michael Jordan that we just now got? We just got Michael Jordan from the uh, draft board. That's pretty nice. Our new starting shooting guard. Um, our Fox not the greatest luck from the board. And from the, uh, what's the name? From the actual... What's the name? Reward. I don't know why can't I can't think of the name. Uh, we're gonna have Russell Westbrook right there. So Tony Parker in this game, regardless. But I might end up using Tony Parker. Upgrade Tony Parker right now so we can uh get up to get up, get our power up faster. And so like the opponents are gonna be easier to beat since we have our power up faster. Head and uh train him up with the pump up collectibles right here. And he is now going to be at I can't actually tell what his power is at because he has his clutch time activated. Green and the Evan Fournier right there will Go ahead, throw him in there. We'll lock him in, and then we will train him as well. And that's going to max him out at his max level two. So we're back. We actually completed a game four. I actually didn't record the draft over game three because we weren't really getting any players. Like the one time I didn't record it, we got ourselves, I believe it was an Amity Robert Parrish and a Ruby DeAndre. I have a screenshot. So if you guys want to see it, it should be on the screen right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up what we're getting from here as we're getting a Ruby Jason Tatum right there, Ruby Zion. We're getting two players actually from here. Not really anybody to reset the board for us, though. And we're going to end off with a Sapphire Pump Clip. All right. So the Onyx card we're going to be getting from the next season is going to be a Onyx Devin Booker uh, Pump Ups right there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we are now at 47.93. We haven't trained to Robert Parrish yet, so we're going to go ahead and do that as well. And let's see what we can get from here. We are going to be at 46.59. We're still at... Still not uh close enough to get to the 52, I believe it's 5250 mark. Nice card. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, so we're back. Apparently, good thing just happened off camera. While we were off camera just now, like literally, I just opened the draft for like my first two picks. We put ourselves the uh what's the name Onyx Larry Nance card, which you guys are gonna see once we uh finish clearing off the draft board. As we're not really getting anything from here. Um, but yeah, we managed to pull the uh, Onyx Larry Nance Jr. card. As you can see right here, I'm pretty sure it's the lowest actual uh foundation Onyx card in the game. But that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I missed. So, off camera, um, we end up playing through the seasons, and I believe we got Honest KD from the seasons. You guys are gonna see screen stuff, everything on the screen as well. Um, we got Amethyst Mosin Malone before that actually, and then we got the uh Onyx Bogdan, which the that was kind of important because if we go to our team, like as you see right now, we're at Diamond. But before we got like uh those couple players, we weren't at Diamond yet. So in order for us to get the Diamond, I didn't want to have to um if we go over to our cards. I didn't want to have to get rid of this KD. Because the option was like I, I was the plan was to uh use the honest card I got from the seasons to upgrade Larry Bird with, but I wouldn't have to get rid of the KE. So fortunately, I like simulate like a game because like uh I wasn't I didn't have time to play. So I'm like, yo, let me simulate this game real quick, just see if we get anything. And we managed to get the Onyx Bogdan Bogdanovich from the uh draft board, which is pretty dope. So uh that actually did come in really clutch. Uh, we uh uh using that to upgrade the Larry Bird with as you guys are also seeing on your screen right now. Um, we've started playing the gauntlet and then from one of those games we managed to get the onyx tim duncan Onyx Tim duncan's like the best uh base power uh power for or the best um foundation uh onyx power for i'm pretty sure we got also got the onyx demontis the bonus i believe that was from a simulation i don't really know where that one is from you guys have seen it on your screen right now but yeah i believe that was from a simulation but yeah and continue uh grinding out um the uh seasons i'm gonna uh probably play game actually we have a yeah we have a small generic charter so i'm probably gonna go ahead and play this right now I'll show you guys the uh, first diamond card we're actually going to get on our account because that's what we're going to get from here. See, I'll be right back. Check the powers of those. But for our first diamond card, we're going to be getting a diamond Damian Lillard, which is actually pretty good um, as far as gameplay goes. Like, that's, that's a really good card. Um, let's go over to our team. We'll go ahead and train him up as well. Uh, and we'll train the Tim Duncan while we're at it. Since we're already here, we'll go ahead and train him up as well. And he is going to be at 48.19. Uh, Damian Lillard is going to end up at 79.66. We're now at 5680 power. Yeah, and we didn't really get any players. We got a Ruby 22 coach right there, though. And from the season, we're going to get ourselves a Diamond Jerry Stackhouse. That was probably not really about to 
do anything for the team. Um, but yeah, we'll probably uh, keep Devin Booker in the starting lineup because he's actually been pretty good. Um, it's Chris Paul right here, which you don't have the uh, collectibles or the uh, what's name rings to craft it. But yeah, there's Chris Paul. Joe Kim Noah, same thing. We don't have the rings or the collectibles to craft. And then basically the same thing for the Kevin Durant. And then I believe, yeah, same thing for the Russell Westbrook, even if we were to get all those, uh, what's the name, collectibles. So, yeah, we can't really craft anybody regardless. So, a lot of diamond cards. I have a lot of diamond cards to show you guys that we did end up pulling. I, of course, will have screenshots for all of them as per usual. But, as you see, we went to OT in that game. But uh, we managed to get ourselves a diamond Carmelo Anthony, which I'm not a fan of Melo at all in this game. I'm not going to lie. Now, we'll go ahead and train him up. I'm not completely sure whether or not I'm going to use him. I probably won't use him, to be honest. You see? We also got ourselves that Giannis right there. If we go over to our collection, I'm pretty sure there's more cards that we got. Um, let's go over to my cards real quick. So, yeah, we got this Amari Stoudemire from the draft board as well. And then, as you guys just saw, we got that Tobias Harris. And then we got Giannis from the draft board as well. So, yeah, pretty clutch pulls from the draft board in our collection. So, we'll go ahead and upgrade this Giannis with the Amari Stoudemire and the Tobias Harris that we just now got from the draft board. And then we'll train him up as well. And... Yeah, we'll do that right there. And I only got it because it was an ad that uh, popped up. If the ad never popped up, I had like 229 coins, which we could have used for a stamina recharge. But fortunately, the ad popped up and we did not have to do that. Um, outside of that, we got Manscaped ourselves a Diamond Nate Archer from the draft board. And then we also got Amethyst Hakeem and, and Amethyst Larry Bird, which is also pretty good. Right now, I barely got him. I haven't even played a game with him yet. I'm assuming he's not going to be good because his defending is at a 3. Rebounding is at a 5. Strength is at a... Our rebound is at a 4. Strength is at a 5. So not... Really good for a center. Doesn't really have any shooting stats that really stand out. But we're going to train him up regardless because he is our best center right now. Um, uh, We'll probably end up upgrading this Hakeem. And he's probably going to be our starting center. Because at level 2, let me uh, figure something out real quick. So at level 2, we have a bunch of Amethyst cards. We're pulling Amethyst cards a lot from the draft board. So at level 2, um, if we go hit upgrade the Hakeem. And we train him up real quick. I didn't think that uh Hakeem was actually about to be on the lineup. But it's actually pretty high. He's at 6720. He's actually already higher than Zach. Yo, Zach Randall, get out of here, man. Um, Hakeem is going to be our new starting center. Um, I was kind of worried about Zach Randolph being our starting center regardless. Fortunately, we don't even have to use him. Hakeem is here to save the day. Definitely going to help you out a lot. I'm a new player, and it's going to help me out a lot. So the locker code, I believe it's PD Morant. And then you're able to get yourself a pink diamond John Morant card, as well as two small generic cards, which is going to help us grind the season, or grind the tourneys, I should say. Um, let's go to auto field team. You guys uh, missed the last episode. I currently I do not like Damian Lillard whatsoever. So this should be a good... New addition to the squad for our wars at 3,500 going to be an uh, Onyx Anthony Davis, a Diamond Jason Tatum, and then the Pink Diamond Damian Lillard. Our Pink Diamond now, so we go ahead and not even have to finish um grinding those. We can now start grinding the Pink Diamond seasons, which is going to be pretty good. As far as the cards, like, these are extremely high power. Like Anthony Davis at 15,413. If we go over to our team, John Rent isn't even at that power. He's a Pink Diamond card. So... That was going to be a great addition to our team. Unfortunately, it's going to force us to get rid of that Giannis, who's been pretty good for us. The Jason Tatum at 21,709 power, way higher. That's like triple Mel's power. Pretty sure it'll be even higher once he's trained. Well, it'll definitely be higher once he's trained. Then Damian Lillard, 29,230. As I said, I don't like Damian Lillard. So um, I'm going to avoid having to use him, but he's probably going to go into the lineup. Um, we'll probably save all those awards, though, for the uh, mini domination event. We'll have to go into the tourney thing. But it's going to be a pink diamond. Steve Francis, which is not useful whatsoever since we already have a point guard. Shot right there just because. But, uh, yeah, I think we might just have to wait to King the court event. Honestly, I, I don't feel like the point is simulating Diamond Season. So, yeah, maybe we pull something from the draft board. That's going to help us. We do pull something from the draft board. Yo! All right. Yo, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, Oscar Robertson from the draft board. I know we already have a Pink Diamond point guard. Sheesh, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to see what Pink Diamond card we're going to be getting. And... It is going to, as you see, 22-11 in that last game. Uh, we're getting my Michael Jordan card. Jeez, I was like, yo, we got to replace Jerry Stackhouse. We finally get a new card to replace Jerry Stackhouse. About dang time, man. Maybe you have to like, use all of them in order for them to use those. That doesn't really make sense. But, yeah, MJ right there is going to be our starting shooting guard. But we have the best point guard and the um and shooting guard from the um Pink Diamond Collection. From the tourneys, we're going to get our Pink Diamond Kevin Durant on the team. Who's our Pink Diamond? Uh, what's his name? Who's our, who's our small boy, Carmelo Anthony? I'm sorry. Uh, I was actually just now saying how good he was playing. But now he's got to go. I didn't realize his KD is... Was KD always free to play? I don't remember. Um, cause like, like for free to play cards, I usually remember the card. But like, I don't remember KD being free to play. Let's go ahead. Uh, they're on 15. And upgrade him 
as well. He is going to be at 15,704 power. But we do have something in King of the Court already to claim, which is going to be this Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is at 15,513 power, which is basically at the power of like a maxed out pink diamond at a level one. So that's really good. We're going to go ahead and claim this card right here, right now. But yeah, we have Andy Davis on the team. Now, actually, we have a couple of honest cards we could go ahead and upgrade his card with. Let's go ahead and upgrade him before we do any training. Um, let's go over to our collection in general so it's easier to see the upgrades. Let's go. But um, yeah, let's go back over to it. Um, we got, Let's go ahead and filter out our onyxes. So we have another level two. I'm pretty sure we can make right here with this Vince Carter. And then we'll see by making a level three later on with the uh, Joel and B duplicates that we have and the uh, Alex Cruiser duplicates that we have as well. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Anthony Davis up to level three. He's at 17,866 power and we haven't even trained him yet. Let's go ahead and start training him right now. He is going to be at 21,879 power, which is absolutely insane for an honest card. Look at that. And there's 21,879. Kevin Durant is 5,592. He's already, he's level two. Like, look, Alex Russo is 3,791. That's insane. All right, it works out. I actually already claimed the draft because I didn't realize we were on the final season. But let's go ahead and hop into here. And it's not going to let me claim my reward. So who the heck was my reward? Um, I have no clue. Let's go to my cards, I guess. Actually, let's go over to, to my team. We should just auto fill the center. So it is going to be the pink diamond Yao Ming, which I'm pretty sure Yao Ming was packed to the last season. I'm pretty sure he was. I don't remember like ever seeing this card, but we got Pink Diamond Yao Ming on the account right there. If you guys are wondering where that Diamond Gold Bear came from, we got it from the draft board as well as a Diamond Evan Mobley and a Diamond Gilbert Arenas. We also got a Pink Diamond Tony Parker from the draft board as well. Let's go to King of the Court real quick because there's something I want to go over. So if we go over to King of the Court, if we uh, check out this um, leaderboard right here, I was like, just like looking through the event. Check out this leaderboard right here. Well, right now we just fell out of it, but check out this leaderboard right here. We're at 3,040, which as you see, Top 3,000 word gives you the, uh, what's the name, Pearl Nicole Jokic card. If we can get to top 3,000, that, that'll, be, like, that'll be like a really clutch pull for the account if we are able to get there. But regardless, we're able to get a Pearl card at the end, which is really clutch considering like I'm like, like I'm, I'm like nowhere near Pearl tier. But I'm going to try to go for this uh, Nicole Jokic card right here. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to be on top of the games and even like when I'm done because I think that's what's going to happen is that like towards the end of the event people aren't really paying attention people just like stop playing the game because like generally I do that like once I get like top four in these events I just stop playing the game but what we're going to do is we're actually going to continue playing and I'm going to uh, continue uh I'm going to every at every single opportunity I can I might even like set alarms to try to just get on the game and play through this whole thing right here but yeah we've been basically at the sixth or the AC like every single time and we've been able to win the game so yeah hopefully we're able to continue doing that but yeah now, um met the requirement for this Jason. i don't know why i said met the requirement we just now got the jake potato uh from the um what's the name reward progression thing that we got right here if we go look at this we are currently at top 3001 so we are making pretty good progress as far as that goes playing it looks like we're actually going to be able to get this nicole Jokic from the event which is gonna be pretty dope but if we now go over to our team, um, we are getting this thing right here. We apparently only need to log in for two more days for that Shaq. Even though he's like not even going to be useful for my team whatsoever. Let's see. I guess I'll play with the man's head. But we'll auto field. Let's go lock him. What am I doing? Let's go lock him in real quick. I want to, uh, as I said, I want. I don't want to have to upgrade my team uh, too high. We just need to get to 20K. We'll have Dikembe Mutombo right there. And then we'll train him. And then we'll see what the power is now. Let's go ahead and get the training stuff. And he is now... Brought our team up to 9,608. That is into the Jason Tatum. Apply those upgrades. And then we'll train Jason Tatum up. And we'll just autofill him at max level 3. It is what it is. Uh, train Jason Tatum up. And we are now at Galaxy Opal tier. So we can now play through the Galaxy Opal season. So yeah, our Galaxy Opal attorneys. My uh, reset reward is now a diamond. Which has been a diamond since we hit P9. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and claim this reward. And... It is going to, you see, we kind of dominate the opponent. It's going to be a, uh, what's the name, Galaxy Opal Chris Paul, which is actually pretty good. The second one off camera, where we got the Galaxy Opal Clay Thompson, which you guys are seeing on your screen right now, because I did take a screenshot of that. Outside of that, from uh things that we got off camera, we got a Pink Diamond Oscar Robertson. After we completed the second one, I stopped playing because I was, wasn't at the house, and I wasn't able to, like, just watch my uh screen or play the game um, at that time. So, yeah, let's basically what ends up happening off camera, but, yeah. We want to claim our third uh, Galaxy Opal card from the, uh, what's the name, from the attorneys. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into here. And as you see, we actually got forced into, uh, what's the name, game five. We're actually pulling a Carmelo Anthony right here. Honestly, it, it doesn't really matter who we pull 
from either like there or this uh semifinals right here because we already have both a small four with the Jason Tatum from the event and a power four with the Anthony Davis from the event. So yeah, until we get to the center, it's not gonna really going to matter who we pull. Before we do that, let's check. So we need to reach 27K to, in order to reach the, uh, what's the name, in order to reach the next tier. So yeah, so we're going to be getting a Galaxy Oppo Giannis Antetokounmpo, which might be an upgrade, I don't know. Crazy, let's go ahead and hop into the tourney and our Galaxy Oppo center to replace Yao Ming. Yao Ming isn't playing that bad, but it is going to be a Galaxy Oppo Bam on the bio which I don't really want on my team. Bam is kind of undersized. He doesn't really rebound the ball. So yeah, we're going to do that. And then uh, we're not going to train him at all, but we're going to upgrade the clay. We're going to use the Bam and the Mellow that we have. Uh, as I said, the problem with Bam is that he's like undersized for a center and he's not good enough at defending. And like that, also having Bam here doesn't um, upgrade us to 25K. It actually, you know, it doesn't upgrade us to 27 I'm about to say, if it was 25K, I probably just messed up, but doesn't put us close enough. I don't see myself spending coins on anything else. Like, I don't see myself buying this, for example. That would be the only real thing for us to buy. Um, Let's go over to a uh, theme. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this right here. Um, One, two, three times. And then we would need, uh, what is it, 57 more coins to finish that all. So, uh, we got these 25 coins right here. And then, can we get this today? Because I want to just make sure we're able to get all these coins. Right now, I guess we'll do this on camera since it's better. Show you guys where we're getting all these coins from. And then monthly, I'm assuming we haven't completed anything. Um, weekly is already done. And then daily, you guys train a point guard three times. So it looks like we're going to be able to get one more uh, event charger just to show you guys. So we're going to have four event chargers total. Um, all we have to do is now is just train a card. So we're not probably not going to train the card right now just so it doesn't take up that much time. But yeah, um, we just need to get... For tomorrow, we're gonna be able to get that. So we're gonna have four large uh, event chargers total. So to pull ourselves a Galaxy Oppo Carmelo Anthony, I'm not sure if that happened during this time period, but during this time period, we did manage to pull ourselves a Galaxy Oppo DeAndre Ayton. Of course, screenshot shows should be popping up on the screen. We also pulled some like various Pink Diamond cards that I know we would pull like Isaiah Thomas and like, some other cards from the draft board. As I said, I don't really know what cards we pulled, but I did take screenshots of all of them. But uh, let's go over to King of the Court. So if we go to check out the leaderboard currently, see we have 80k points. As you can see, also we are in the top 3,001. As you see, we're at 80k right now. Uh, top 3,002 is at uh 3,000 or top 3,002 is at 78.9k. Uh, so that's actually like really close to where I'm at. Um, we did end up using one of the large event chargers. We also managed to get another one because we completed like various daily objectives. So as you see, last time we had three. The reason why we still have three this time because we actually bought another one which is why we're at uh, 96 coins last time you probably saw we had like more coins than that so yeah basically the only way i'm getting these coins also is like from the stat line like from the um free packs i haven't like as i said it's a series like no money spent so we haven't really bought any coins or we haven't bought any coins at all not we haven't really bought any coins we haven't bought any coins whatsoever you guys kind of saw where uh like we're like one streak away basically from people that are not in the top 3001 so basically the point of using the large generic charter was to create extra space so like the time isn't running down in the event i'm like oh we gotta complete this streak really fast people are like gaining on me really quickly so that was basically the point of using the uh, large generic charger so now we have 96k points instead of the previously 93k points that you guys saw before so yeah, i will be back um probably towards like probably like at the end of the, like last three hours stuff like that so yeah i'll be back all right so we are back with what's going to be the last section of this video i'm actually going to tell you guys about what we end up getting from the leaderboard war in the king of court event but before we get into that I did manage to pull, I think, like, three Galaxy Global cards. Um, I screenshotted two of them. Like, it was, like, a Mikhail Bridges, and then we got something from the draft war. And actually, we could just go check out our cards real quick. I screenshotted two of them. Yeah, it was a Bam out of bio that we uh, pulled from the uh, scenes as well. So, yeah, uh, we got two Mikhail Bridges, which I didn't screenshot one of them because I didn't realize I was on this account. And then we got the uh, DeAndre, or not DeAndre, and Bam out of bio from uh, Season Simulations as well, I believe. Um, I have screenshots of like the Bam and the Mikhail Bridges, but I didn't get a screenshot of uh, one of the Mikhail Bridges guys. As I said, I didn't realize I was on this account, but yeah, basically, um, what happens event if we just like go ahead and explain things right quick? So I was at the uh tier with the bracket three for like the uh, what's the name, the Nicole Jokic that's at like that's with like with the regular Epic gear, and then I was trying to like. Actually, like, I was like, yo, I might be able to get up to the next bracket, but basically Nikola Jokic with the legendary gear. But at the end of the day, 
we actually weren't able to do that if we go to hop into the event and like a kind of like a roundabout kind of way like us grinding for Nikko Jokic in the second tier or in the tier that was right above us we go look out the uh whole leaderboard thing real quick see we're, we're able to get to Nikko Jokic that's basically the point us trying to grind for bracket two actually made us like secure our position in bracket three if that makes sense so basically towards the end of the event like people started like gaining like really fast which is kind of expected like towards the event in the events like people start gaining really fast which is why you want to create like a, kind of a bit of separation between yourself and the uh people that are below you as far as leaderboard in case you like you get screwed out so and you don't want like want to be like oh at like top three down two like top three down two sucks right now top um the person at 2002 like is in a terrible position right now same thing with 1002 so yeah you want to uh, try to put yourself in a position where you don't have to do that um, I basically put myself in a position where I didn't have to do that um, because I was like grinding so much trying to reach um, bracket uh, what's the name two which in hindsight I like no chance of getting but like it's good because we were actually able to put ourselves in a position to get this Nicole Jokic right here so yeah we're gonna get ourselves this Nicole Jokic once this uh, timer runs out today we have another episode of the no money spent series so we're basically gonna go over what ended up happening off camera because unfortunately I had to claim basically everything off camera before me nomination do everything I wanted to do before me not turned out many dollars was really that hard I kind of went kind of overboard but yeah as you all can see what's going on on your screen right now we basically trained away all of our point guards um so that we can get a uh, Dame Miller like once we claim Dame Miller so like our lowest point guard at that time would be a uh I believe it was a Stephen Curry or it was a Kyrie Irving it was, it was like a really low point guard if you filter out point guards real quick um it was like yeah it was just Stephen Curry right here this was our lowest point guard at the time so the point of that is to once you claim Damian Lillard, our point guard goes from a power of 3736 to a power of 35712. If we just go over to the team to see how that works. Um so Stephen Curry on the team, he's 32 th our team is 32,248 with him on our team. If we all fill the team, it goes up to 38k. So that's basically the point of downgrading your point guards and then upgrading our downgrading position and upgrading the position um, once you actually get entered into domination. So yeah, that's basically what we end up doing. As I said, we kind of went overboard. It wasn't really that necessary. I didn't realize Dom, how low of a point domination was. I got to sworn it was way higher last season, but I could be mistaken on that account. But um, yeah, we basically just trained away everybody, so um, we no longer have Oscar Robertson, which kind of sucks because he was our head to head point guard at the, that time. But we have Curry now. I haven't really tried Curry on this account yet, but um, yeah, we also of course end up gaining on a Cole Jokic, which is really good. Um. So, yeah, we got the Nicole Jokic from the leaderboard award, as you guys already saw in the last video where we were um, at the end of that. So, got him as well. And then we also upgrade the uh, Damian Lillard. We upgrade the Jason Tatum. And we trained up a Jokic because we can't really upgrade the Jokic. But, yeah, it's basically what ended up happening. Also, off camera, we managed to pull ourselves this uh, Dark Matter Kyrie Irving from our first attorneys. Uh, um, I thought he was going to be more useful. It turns out he's not really that useful considering... Uh, if we go over into the main domination, as you can see, we got top award. It wasn't really difficult whatsoever. About to start claiming this stuff. We're getting ourselves a Jalen Brown. These fall collectibles, which kind of suck because I don't, you can't do anything with these, honestly. Like, so, yeah. But for the Dark Matter card, we're going to be getting a Dark Matter Nikola Jokic, which is one of the higher ones, I believe, because he is one of the ones that pop up. Uh, but, of course, we already have Nikola Jokic, so not really that useful. All right, so we are back. We are about to claim our Dark Matter shooting guard. We just now uh, finished. The uh, second round of the tourney as we're getting to Maddie Johnson right there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into here. Let's go over to the tourneys. And we are going to go ahead and get ourselves a Dark Matter Pete Maravich. I'm not really excited to use. Hopefully, we get ourselves another uh, shooting guard in between now and um, when we actually have to use this card. But let me, uh, let's go ahead and train him real quick. Um, just in case he uh, is enough to put us up to the uh power mark to where we don't have to play dark matter seasons or dark matter attorneys anymore so um as of right now if we go over to uh the reward thing um my it looks like the tier is still at a uh, so we're actually really close um let's go over to my team real quick this so this is auto field what i think we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this uh pete maravich Cause we're already like at like 39 809 all we need to do is get to 40k i don't really feel like playing dark matter seems to be 100 percent with you and like, i don't really feel like we need to so instead we're just going to upgrade this card right here and i've got unlocked the Kyrie. Kyrie was playing bad too so like i don't really feel like uh feel like it's that like much of a loss getting rid of this Kyrie Irving right here but let's go ahead move him from here and we will go back over to our team and we will 
um, upgrade them. Apparently, he's still locked. Uh, let's go ahead, throw him in here real quick, and then we will unlock him, and then we will take him out, and then we will go back over here. All right, there we go. Um, it, it'll be kind of weird and like the whole no money submit progress thing, and, like videos and stuff like that, where you just skip topaz, and we just or we just skip dark matters, like in general. We don't really play them at all. But um, let's go ahead, auto fill this card right here. Um, that does does it? Yeah, bring us up to forty thousand power. Um, for our team, let's go over here into the tourneys and let's start playing this because, as I said, I don't really feel like playing the uh, dark matter tourneys. I don't really feel like because like literally they're not upgrading our team at all. It's like. All right, so we are back. So we are about to claim our first Topaz car, of course, from the tourneys. We're going to check it out, see who it's going to be. Go ahead, hop on over here. It is going to be a Topaz Patty Mills. Okay, that's probably the worst Topaz car in the entire game. Of course, of that, um, field filter our point guard Topaz. Yep, exactly. All right, I'll be back. The finals and the um, conference finals are both going to be upgrades for the account. So they're going to be pretty good. But um, only one thing, we managed to get the, uh, what's the name, Karam Butler. That we have right here on our team um we got him from the topaz uh, it's the third round i'm not completely sure which round it is but rewards from this event from the golem event um we are going to be getting so we're going to be starting off getting a deandre jordan the dirk and the james harden but if we were able to reach 55k we are going to be able to get the dirk james harden and the Kawhi actually as our last word instead of the james harden as their last word with the uh what's the name gear keys and the collectibles meaning the, the exact same um so the question is, can we do that? So, as of right now, we are at 48k. Um, obviously, every single car we're, we're getting, we're getting has been an upgrade. So, once we get the uh, power for it, that's actually our lowest vision as of right now. He's at 30.3k. Uh, we just now finally finished the uh, what's the name, Topaz uh, season, our Topaz tourney for the power for it, and we're about to go hop onto the draft board. Honestly, from the draft board, it's been like really disappointing. We haven't really gotten anything from the draft. Like I haven't seen. And not even to mention like the the new cards, like the fall cards, but like we haven't gotten anything in the draft board. But you see, we did get pushed to game five. We're in ourselves a Passios Yakum, who's kind of killing us against um the Raptors uh, attorney. All right, so we are back. We just now completed the uh, finals of the Topaz turns. We're gonna see what we end up getting from here. Um, as I said, we haven't really been anything from the draft board, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, we are gonna go ahead and clear, clear the draft board. Um, we managed to somehow win, even though our, our team isn't good as well. So. I'm continue to be surprised by that, but yeah, well, let's go ahead and claim this card. See, we only won by one actually, um, but it's going to be a Topaz uh, Mitchell Robinson. As I said, it doesn't really matter before because we have the Nicole Jokic here. But regardless, if it did matter, like we've been getting trash Topaz, so I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we are back. Um, as you can see, we just opened up our day log. We got ourselves a pink diamond Jason Tatum. Like I literally cannot get a pink diamond card. Like it's crazy. Like my cards, real quick filter out the pink diamond of course if i just cut out it's because um something just happened and you know uh, i don't i think you guys want to hear that so yeah let's go ahead upgrade this uh Stephen curry right here fortunately we don't even have to use the cards that we don't want to use so like i want i didn't want to use the uh, kd or the hakeem i guess we don't have to use a michael jordan either so that's up it's pretty dope as well um, let's go ahead and upgrade this yao ming because we're not using him at all i'm, I'm using a uh, hakeem and kd from my head to head lineup right now and like in head to head you need like a decent power so yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade him right there. I believe the Patty Mills are like 44k. I'm not completely sure. We're gonna uh, train him up right now. See where Dame is at at level three. He's at 41k. Um, let's go over to our team. Uh, Patty Mills is actually at 46k. So let's go ahead swap Dame. I'm kind of nervous now at this point because like I'm trying to reach 55k before the event starts. Like this is like the only way we can do it. It's actually on our head to head lineup as well. Let's go ahead. Game auto field. Um, let's go ahead, swap him in, and then we'll upgrade him again. Hopefully that gets him up there, um, please. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I gets him up to 48k. All right, that's officially higher than Patty Mills. And then we can use Patty Mills to upgrade Karan Butler since he's the lowest one. And then we will do this. We'll remove Mitchell Robinson. It's like, if this doesn't work, I'm like, there's nothing else we could do at this point. So we'll do that right there. Um, that's He's going to be at 50k right there. Train him up. He is going to be at 55k. Our team's at 53k, and it doesn't didn't work. So I don't know what else we can do. Um, we haven't pulled a single Topaz card from the uh tourneys, from simulations. So like, unless we get like a Topaz card in like the next um, we have 15 hours to get it. Technically, I'm gonna try to simulate all the stuff, but like, I don't think we're gonna pull a Topaz card in that time frame. So chances are we don't, honestly. But um, yeah, if we do. 
I've actually not even only just pulled one, we need to pull two or a duplicate of the shooting guard power port. So chances are that doesn't happen. But yeah, I'll be back if some case something does happen. All right, so we are back. We are uh, actually still grinding to try to get this um 50, to get to 55k power before the actual event starts. So um basically what end up happening off camera is that we end up pulling ourselves an Evan Mobley from the draft board, which is pretty good. Also, we've been like simulating season like this whole time. We haven't really gotten anything from season. Like if we go ahead, hop into here real quick. I'm not sure if you guys know if you could do this or not, but if we go ahead, hop into here real quick, um. You have a 30% chance of pulling a card. Well, I have, like, from simulating and stuff like that, I have a 30% chance of pulling something. Like, I haven't pulled anything. Basically, that means you're supposed to pull something more often than one in four times. And, like, we haven't been pulling really anything, which really sucks. Um, but, yeah, um, I did finally pull something. So, we ended up getting Evan Moly from the draft board. And then we also just now got Gordon Hayward from the uh, season simulations, or from actually playing. So, basically, what I've been doing is I will swap this team right here with Anthony Davis right here. And then we just get the three to get the small generic charger. And then we just uh, basically finish the game. We simulate the rest. So basically, that's what I've been doing. I mean, it took me a while to figure out that you could like simulate the rest. Like, it took me a while to figure that out. Usually, I would just like get like all the draft picks possible. Like, so we just like uh, max out the potential draft picks that we could get as well. Just in case we end up getting anything from there. But yeah, basically, what ended up happens, we end up managed to pull the, um, what's the name? The uh, Gordon Hayward. And then we, of course, also got Evan Mobley. So we're going to actually upgrade this Passy House Yakum. Um, he is at 48,407, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. These are our uh, highest Topaz card that's not, um, what's the name, level 2. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and train him up as well. He's going to be at 55k. So, basically, all right, this is this is the most interesting thing now. So, the event is going to start like an hour 44 minutes. I found that there's like one thing that I could do that would be kind of bad, but it's going to be pretty It's gonna be pretty good. Like, I mean, if you think about it, it's going to be pretty good. So, basically... In order for us to get to 55k power, we're going to get Dirk as our first reward, so I don't really feel like it's that bad. Um, we have to get rid of our best power for in my opinion, which, as I said, not that bad. So what we would do is we would mentor Miss Anthony Davis, who gets 3,250 power, and then he goes into the past house Yakum and, like, past our team is out. Like, it's really close to where, like, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be enough to upgrade our team. So I think that's actually what we're going to end up doing, because in order for us to, the only other thing we could do, really right now is to get another card from the uh what's the name from attorneys which i don't really see that happening um get this Anthony davis we're going to mentor him right here he's going to give us a 3250 power right there as i said it sucks that we can't um what's the name do anything about the uh what's the name ability or about the stat upgrades but as you see that boosts our team up to 55k we really like we're in crunch time like doing this like it's kind of crazy um but yeah dirk is going to be our first war um, obviously by reaching Jade's here, we're also able to play Jade tourneys. So yeah, we're about to do a quick update. So for one, we just now, uh, got our first reward from the, um, Jade's here. It was going to be his pink diamond Dirk right there, who was actually going to be an upgrade and not only like a player upgrade, but like a gameplay upgrade for this Pascal Siaka. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead, throw him into there and then we are going to train him up as well. So we don't have to use Pascal Siaka anymore. He's actually lower. Then Pascal get one now from the drills. Also, and we just now complete our first Jade tourney, and it is going to give us a point guard Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, let's train up Tyrese Halliburton. That's what I'm trying to say. Sheesh. Um, let's go ahead and train him up right there at 50k. He's actually higher than Dame, so Dame is no longer on the team. So now we got Tyrese Halliburton here. Yeah, I'll be back. Right, so we are back. We just now finished the uh, second round. So we're about to get our shooting guard to go ahead and replace Buddy here. We're going to see who we're going to get, but first we're going to go ahead and clear this draft. But unfortunately, we weren't able to pull a dark matter card. From the drills, we pull both guys couples, which is kind of tough, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, hop into here, and I see that game is actually pretty close. We're gonna just okay, this isn't much better. Like what? Oh my goodness, this is that that might even be worse. If you, so we are back, and we are about to claim our Jade Small Four. I have no clue who it's about to be. So yeah, let's go ahead, open up the draft picks real quick, and let's go ahead and hop into this. And it's going to be a Jade OG Anobi, which I'm, from my experience, I don't really know how good he is. I don't think I've ever even used him on my actual team. But we got him right here. Is he even higher than uh, Karan Butler? Um, he is not. Just now finished the uh, tourney where we get the power for it. We're going to see who we end up getting um, once we end up clearing the draft board. Um, we are going to go ahead and get ourselves. I see that. We got to push the game five in that. We're going to get ourselves a power for Herbert Jones. Quick update. I did want to show you guys us claiming this uh, James Harden. Um, right here, he's at 54, 225 power. Honestly, Grayson Allen is like so terrible. So, like, I'm actually excited to... Throw him 
onto the team to replace him because Grayson Allen, like, he doesn't even hit like wild shots. Like it's like terrible. It's like it's crazy how bad this card is. So yeah, we're gonna go throw hit throw Harden in there. Um, hopefully this allows us to beat the Cavs because we're not able to beat the Cavs right now because LeBron is broken. All right, so we are back. And fortunately, like James Harden is actually like, really good in this game. He like, gave the Cavs buckets. I'm pretty sure I took like a screenshot of like one of the game where he had like a lot of points. Like it was like a game before that where I should have taken a screenshot as well where he had like 20 points in the game. But like. James Harden really did help us. That's why he's our profile picture as of right now. I think I'm just like cycle the profile picture. It's all about who's playing the best on my team at the current time. And right now, that's of course James Harden. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we end up getting from the finals of this uh, Cavs tournament. And then after that, I think it's going to be the end of the video. Um, we haven't really, I didn't, haven't played, uh, what's the name, the Gauntlet event since the last time we updated. But yeah, we are going to go ahead and get ourselves a Jade Derek favor. It doesn't really matter. Who we end up getting because we already have the center Cleoka, which is like locking up that spot. For, he's going to be locking up that spot for like a cool minute. But back with another video today. We're going to be doing another episode of No Money Spent series. If you guys did end up missing the previous episode, I believe we did like eight before. I believe this is episode nine right here. But if it's not, it might be episode. Eight. I don't really know. But um, yeah, uh, if you guys did miss the ones that we did before, so definitely go ahead and check this out. Basically, off camera, did we really pull anything off camera? I believe if we over to my cards, I know we pulled. This uh, Topaz Clay from the tourneys. I know we pulled this uh, Herbert Jones from the tourney. I believe that's it. Yeah, we, yeah, we pulled Markel Fultz too. So we pulled Markel Fultz, Herbert Jones, and the Topaz Clay Thompson from the tourney. Um, I will be back. Um, also, we can clean the squad before I leave. Um, but just, let's go ahead and clean the squad before I actually forget to uh, claim him. But just, let's go ahead and claim him right there. Um, he is going to be our new small four. I'm not completely sure what power we need to reach. Um, so if you go over to our rewards here. Real quick, um, we need to reach 65k in order to be at the next possible tier. Let's go ahead and auto fill the team real quick. Also, this is my uh, what's the name event line where we have like a 100% boost. But um, let's go ahead and remove Jokic and remove the Harden. Let's go ahead and lock Kawhi in. Also, we still haven't gotten a Dark Matter card to upgrade his Dirk, which is kind of annoying because I started like playing his head. I play like four at head games to be honest, but like I play like the drills, and I'm pretty sure I put like a Topaz card or something. We pulled something from the drills. Where it's like, I don't know. Um, are we pouring Galaxy Apples a lot? But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, train up and upgrade the Kawhi right now. We have a lot of J cards. The Dame and the Kawhi aren't that. Are the Dame and the Tyrese? If we filter our point guards real quick, the Dame and the Tyrese Halliburton aren't that far away. They're like only 2K power away. And Tyrese is going to do a lot more with upgrading um, the well, upgrading the Kawhi than actually being on my team right now. Let's go ahead and upgrade. The Kawhi again. We'll see if this puts us up to 65k. That I'm wanting to do that, but we'll uh, see real quick. Let's go ahead and train him up as well. And he is going to be at 69k. Our rewards here we're currently at 62k, so it doesn't look like um, I don't think that Dame will upgrade Kawhi to um, that power. What I think we need to do is get some dark matter cards, and then we'll probably definitely be at that power off camera. Like, literally, just now, you managed to pull ourselves another dark matter, Paul Pierce. Right here, which is extremely uh, good because we can finally uh, make the upgrades to our team that I actually wanted to make. So basically, the plan. So this is our team before, right? So we had uh before we got Kawhi, if we go allow us to swap, we got Karan Butler in here and Pascal Siakam. Now what we can do is we can upgrade our James Harden with that Karan Butler and that Pascal Siakam because we're finally going to replace Pascal Siakam with this Dirk and Whiskey right here. We're gonna use both these Paul Pierce. I usually wouldn't recommend doing this, but in order for us to get to pro tier and like stop like having us like chill with these uh what's the name uh dark matter or uh these uh J attorneys that aren't really being useful to us right now we're gonna go ahead and throw Dirk in there we're going to go ahead and upgrade Dirk as well he's going to be at 64k our team is currently at 63k let's go over to our collection real quick hopefully this works gets us up to the 65k power mark that we're looking for then we're going to go ahead and upgrade the Harden together both in line we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the Harden with both the Pascal Siakam and the Karam Butler. That's going to put him up to six to 76 hit. Well, I was way higher than I expected. And we're going to go ahead and autofill him in right there. And as you can see, now our team's at that 65.7K power mark. 